It's time to gig a gig 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 game. Um, welcome back to more Virtue's Last Reward. So, I. I'm going to play it safe and not claim this as the final session of this game because I did that last time and it wasn't the final <laughs> Despite playing like five hours of what I thought would be close to the end um So I'm gonna hold off on claiming this is the final session And just play so we last left off a lot was unpacked on us, right a lot was left a lot was explained to us and um I don't even know if I can begin to like go over what it explains. So we found out the old woman's Akane, right? We found out Temyoji is Junpei from the first game. Akane and Junpei were from the first game along with Clover. They were all part of the first Nonary game, the 999 game. Uh, that's cool. K, okay. we, we, we learned a while back was at Sigma, but in actuality he was a clone of Sigma. Oh, right, the big, the big thing. We as Sigma are, are actually, oops. Are we as Sigma is actually we what we are zero senior turns out we're an old man turns out we were an old man with gray hair and a monocle this entire time and we never realized it the entire time because we never thought to touch our face at all or look at the hair color that when it comes in our face anyway besides the point we're an old man there's this whole talk Akane be telling us about fucking we're jumping through time and then the person that where it's like a, a, or rather our conscious is jumping through times. And so when we're jumping through time, that means the person, the us of back then is also jumping along. And it's just like a lot. It's a lot to explain. Anyway, we last left off. We were in the past. We were in the past on the day of the explo the explosions of the what do you call them? Not the antimatter. Whatever, whatever you call it. Uh, I forget what you call it. But there was a huge. There was a. Mul there was like a multiple explosions that basically almost took out the entire Earth, and a few handful of people were sent off to space before they could be perished. Whatever, right? Um, because of radical six. Uh, we went back to the day when the explosions happened. I think we met up with Akane, young Akane. And we we left off at a, like a a, a big end or beginning, or something. So I actually don't know how to proceed from here, right? So this is where we left off. No, this is where we left off, right? We have to jump. We have to jump ahead. Is it is it the fact that we have to jump ahead somewhere? Is that what we have to do? Because I think we, when we talked, it was that... So, okay. The, when, we, when we first started the game, when we were in the, going into that car, that scene, we time-traveled to the future from 2028 to 2074. 2074 is... 2074 is basically this entire timeline that all these timelines is taking place on the same day with the exception of I think This end part here, which takes place two days after all this We need to go to Wait Wait, wait Wait, I think we have something that could tell us There's a Holes, there's something that we had gotten that had notes about. Hold up, let me see if I can spot it. Not this. Nope, 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 nope. Here it is. Um, so we had started with A and then we jumped to B, which is the main, the main um timeline of the game itself. And then a few when we got to the presumably last route where we met with Kane, that was C. Because um, that was like two days after. From C, we jumped back down to D. And D is the explosion day. So what we need to do, what we needed to do at D is to live out... Was it from D? I think it was from D. We had to live out our the, the 45 years from D to C or something like that, right? Or live out the years from D to B? 
in order to set up the entire nonary game, uh, set up the AB project, and then go back from C to A. No, and then from A to go to E. I don't actually know. Oh no, I think I've gotten all mixed up. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is. I think what I'm going to do is jump to somewhere. I have to. I think I have to jump into the future somewhere. I just don't know where in the future. It's not. Do I want to go back here? I have to go back somewhere. I just don't know quite exactly where I'm supposed to go back to. I said I'm plenty friendly. Okay, you know what? I just looked it up. I had- okay. I had an inkling. I had an inkling that that was what I had to do. Hang on, let me go back. I, I was wondering, like, do I have to beat all the puzzles on the hard mode in order to unlock? But I was like, man, no, that can't be it, right? According to one site I read, that's apparently it. So your girl has to go back to those puzzles that I fucking... Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Some of those puzzles that I switched to easy took a long time to get to, though. Oh, no. This is... I don't need to jump here. It's literally the next thing, but I jumped here. Actually, wait. I don't need to do the puzzles, right? I can just... Theoretically, they're not gonna make me play the puzzles. I can just put them in the safe passwords. Is that what it is? Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. How do I... I, I skip it. Skip, 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 shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Come on, come on, come on, let me in. If I put in... Okay. There, there, there. Good job. It's okay. Okay, okay. The gold file contains supplementary facts and background information that will give the novel sections added depth but are not necessary for escaping. They made it. God. In order to escape and continue the game, you must open the safe with the escape password. So, like. Now that I got it, does it change to. No. Okay, do I have to escape? I have to actually escape, right? I'm guessing. Alright. Let me try. Moon, star, moon. Okay, 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 I did it. Now. What is the show here? Okay. We're done with that. I'm leaving. Now I need to go next puzzles and see which one I did. Easy on. Here. Oh, fuck the security room. But you know what? We have the code for it. That's why they give you the files for the the stinking fucking safe passwords because they know you have to re re like re you have to refer to them. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, where is the safe? Go. I'm gonna look in the archives because I don't, I don't know. Where it is this? Is the security room? Moon, sun, sun. I've already forgotten. Hold up. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck my life. Moon is in the middle. Moon, sun, sun. Okay. 
Give to me. Give to me. Okay. Now we go back in. Do it again. And what's the other password? Sun, sun, sun. 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 Oops. out of here. Where is the... Go, 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 go! My fries are all cold because I can't eat and play at the same time. Ah, uh, my fries! Wait. No. I got things to do. Okay, that's been settled. Alright, next puzzle is up here. What we got? Hard, 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 easy. Let's go. Now, why did I switch it to e Oh, the fucking dice game. Oh, fuck that game. Fuck that game. Good. Where is the safe? Where's the couch? Couch, here it is. Blah, 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 okay. Okay. Safe password is- wait, I actually need to re refer to this to see which one- actually, it doesn't matter, I guess, right? Let me- I have- Sun, star, star. Okay. Gold file, give it to me, baby. You did it, you opened it. Okay, give me- get me back in there. Why does it need to take you out of it after you put in one password? Wow, I wish puzzles were this easy. Just kidding. It wouldn't be very fun if you could just do it like this. Oh look, injection! Get that shit out of here. Get that shit out of here. Get that shit out of here. There's no autoing when you're in the puzzle mode. Neo stig me. You know what? That's gross. Freaking Clover saying like, Oh, let's let me have the gun. I'll if we get out of here, I'll take you I'll go on a date with you. Knowing damn well that we're an old man. Also, I think la last night I had this vague memory of someone saying something about like, um, like you should go get your eye checked, like eye as in singular. And at first I thought that was a typo, but maybe that's what it meant. I don't know. I don't know if I made that up though. I don't know if I'm making that up, but I feel like that was something I remember hearing. Oh my God. Just let me skip through this, please. Why is there no skip option here? Fuck. Where are you at? Okay, what next? Come on, come on. An Shut up, Akai. Gate has been opened. That's been hard. Okay, next up, hard, hard, hard. Okay. Now what's a? This is hard. Okay. Nope, that's not a puzzle. There. The director's office. Really? What do they get stuck on in the director's office? Oh, the parallelogram! Fuck that parallelogram! That parallelogram could go fucking hell. Fuck parallelograms. Where's the safe? This one is... Star, moon, moon. Is this the last one? Did I change it to easy on anything else? Can't remember. Good job! Oh, good work. Okay. Get back in there. Uh, this one is... Star, star, sun. Buddha, buddha, buddha. Where are you taking me? No! We're doing the facial recognition? No, I don't want to do it! No! We don't need to do this! I'll look at the stuff in the safe, but I don't think Corson will let me- Oh, fuck off! Ah! I have to talk to fucking Temyoji about the stupid godforsaken picture! Can't you tell that I've already gone through all this? It's a Kane, yes, I know. Crazy, right? Wowee. That's it, right? Can I go in? Oh no, do I have to put in the fucking god? Ah, god damn it, you made me leave it. Fuck you, Korg, you're a sabotager. Now we can fucking get out of here. All right, don't stop me now. 
Cause I'm having a good time, having a good time, shooting star. I had this thought a while back on how, back in the old days with Disney movies, you would hear. Shit. No, stop. Stop. You're not supposed to be moving. Stop. Okay. That's been settled. What, what puzzle now is. The. the this one. <laughs> the. the. the uh, this one. Fuck this one. Um, I was talking about like back in the old days with the old Disney movies. Like, a good example was in Beauty and the Beast. Oh fuck, I did- fuck, god forsaken, god. Come on. Um... They're talking about how... The- this, the male singer's been, like, like Gaston, for instance, right? He- the way he sang... And I guess also with Belle, too. They had this, like, what do you call it? Vibrato? They would be like... Oh, I need to bring out the save! Where the fuck is the save?! Yeah, uh, save, save. <laughs> give me, come, 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 come. I don't care about any of this. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Okay, what is the password here? Ton, ton, ton. Hmm? Oh shit, that was the key password. No, no, shut up. No, 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 no. Just kidding, you didn't see that. I did not open it. Okay. Star. Moon, moon. Oh my god, do I have to listen to fucking Akane talk before I can leave the godforsaken room? Re oh! Shit, no. I think I have to... I think I have to fucking leave. Wait, unless... No, I think I have to leave. <laughs> Fuck my life. God damn it. No, shut, shut up, shut up, shut up! Maybe I don't, maybe I'm getting lucky. Maybe I kinda... Has mercy on me. Let's go. No! Oh, <laughs> that's open everything that I didn't open. <laughs> uh. What's the point? He's like, here's all this puzzle that you had skipped. Escapist. We did it. Now what? Huh. Noha. Noha. Here it is! Here it is! Infirmary, another time. Let's fucking go! Where? I see you've finally woken up, Kyle. Kyle. Oh, Sigma clone! Kyle. Ah, uh, yes. Of course. You've only just woken up in this timeline. It's only natural for some of your memories to be missing. I lurched upright, jumped off the bed, and ran around to the other side of the partition. The mirror over the sink was covered with a film of dirt. I wiped it off with my sleeve, and my reflection stared back at me. My reflection of me laying on the floor. Oh, it's not gonna show it? <laughs> I like how they show a reference of <laughs> lying on the floor and in the pod, as, a, as opposed to just drawing a scene of him looking in the mirror. There was no mistake. The reflection belonged to. Kyle Klein. So, I'm Dr. Klein? Zero Senior's clone? Wow, it's our first time hearing our voice. What? How do you know that? 
Shouldn't you still be suffering from amnesia? An excellent question. One I didn't know didn't know the answer to myself. So we're not in a suit, right? That means I don't have to put the filter on, right? The the I don't want to do it. <laughs> I knew who Kyle Klim was. In another history, he had been called K and had worn a suit of armor. Oh baby! He hadn't just worn the armor in that history though. Apparently he'd worn it all his life. Kyle had been born and raised in this lunar installation, which seemed to be called Rhizome 9. Rather late in his life, Akane had appeared as a mother figure, and he had consequently grown very attached to her. I knew everything about him. But even though I knew it, I didn't feel it. Wait, they talked about Zero... They talked about Zero Senior having loved someone in his life? Who... Who... Who, who, who did he... Who, who he love? Who he love? Who, who person he love? Was I really Kyle Klim? Every time I looked in the mirror, I saw his face. The spitting image of Sigma Klim in his younger days. I looked down. There was Dio, still handcuffed. Yo, wait, in order for you to look in the mirror, you would have st you would have to step like in between his legs, and you just now look down at him? I turned back around to Luna. What day is today? January 27th, 2074. Today is the last day of the AB project. Akane has explained everything in the garden. And she drew a knife and attacked Phi. How long have I been asleep? About five hours in real time. For them, it would have seemed like a little more than two hours. So they still haven't been treated for their Radical Six? No, they've all been given the antiviral. It just takes a while to have an effect. I see. So the consciousness of the younger Sigma has gone back into the past. <laughs> look, 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 look at that fucking idiot. <laughs> it should have happened right after Akane attacked Fire, right? Yes. Why am I here? The doctor carried you back here. You were in the pod in the garden. So the person you call the doctor is Sigma Klein, as inhabited by his age-appropriate consciousness. Yes, but... How do you know that? Dio seems to have remained unconscious. Actually, yeah, why do we know that as a clone? We have the ability- we have- we carry the memories! We carry the memories of the time-traveling stuff, but aren't we a clone? Are we really a clone? Yes. What's it mean? I was wondering why Luna was like, how do you know this stuff? I've been administering whenever he gets restless. It's like, actually kill him. No one would know. <laughs> what about the others? They've all gone off to different areas. Tenmyoji and Quark, for instance. Junpei! Oh, um... Right! Mr. Klein! So the sleepyhead's finally up, huh? What are you two doing here? Are we in the, are we in the corner? You don't know where we are? This is the upper floor of the pressure exchange chamber. The real one. Mm-hmm. We were just about to get dressed and head out. You plan to return them? To Earth, I mean. Yeah. Sigma told us where we could find the shuttle that brought us here. Well, guess he's not really the Sigma I knew anymore. So what? Is it he's a Dr. bus? He's Dr. Climb now. Or, or Zero Senior, depending on how you look at it. Why? What do you mean, why? Um, well, I'm just curious why you would choose to return to a devastated planet when you could stay here. I like this voice. How staying here can help. You aren't going to say something idiotic about how we should wait here until Sigma changes the past, are you? You can't wait for something that's already happened. Grammar doesn't work that way. Hell, nature doesn't work that way. You following me? We've already lived through history. Sigma failed to keep the virus from getting out. About 45 years ago, Radical Six created a pandemic and the antimatter reactors blew up. That all happened. Wait, so where is the, the Zero Senior of this timeline? The one where where Akane had pretended to stab him? Is he just up, up there, just lay on the floor? <laughs> Whatever Sigma does in the past, history's not gonna change. In fact, it's because of what he did or didn't do in the past that we've got this past and present. Let me give you an example. Junpei, don't Imagine be so crabby. Imagine a group of 100 motorcycles driving down an endless freeway. Eventually, they hit a junction. The road splits in two. 
one freeway continues off northwest and the other stretches out to the northeast. So one guy, we'll call him S, pipes up. Let's go northwest, he says. So they take the northwestern road, but about a mile past the intersection, something horrible happens. A semi driving the other way veers into their lane and plows through the bikers. 90 of them die. The surviving 10 are wounded, but survive. They don't stop, though. They keep riding down that highway, and eventually, they'd gone 10,000 miles. Then suddenly, something happens that they couldn't have predicted. S, who had survived, suddenly has his consciousness thrown back in time. He ends up back in his own body just before they reach the junction. He remembers everything. So what does S do? What anybody would do? Let's go northeast. That means all 100 of the bikers survive to reach their destination happy and healthy. And they all live happily ever after. That's what you're thinking, right? It's a great outcome for the 100 bikers that went northeast. But what about the 10 that went northwest and survived the accident? Huh? Wouldn't it be nine people? I mean, S's mind went back in time, right? Uh, right. Okay, nine people then. What happens to the reality they were living? Does it just disappear when S changes the past? It's not as if it was only bad things that happened during that 10,000 mile trip. Maybe one of them fell in love with a woman working at a gas station they stopped at and had a child. Maybe one of them picked up a homeless kid who joined them on their adventure. How does... Wait, you said that we kept driving for the 10,000 miles. Did we end up... I guess that means that we took breaks and stuff? Okay, I thought they were... I thought he was literally trying to tell us to imagine that we were just constantly driving, non-stop. But... Fine, that 10,000 mile journey would be full of stories. Friendships, farewells, romances. The loss of those 90 lives is horrible and unfortunate. But what would rewriting their history mean? The nine who survived lived full lives. And they'll live full lives again, but living as different people. Living through different lives. You might have fallen in love with someone in that northwest path, but in northeast you might meet someone else. It's not like you're destined to only fall in love with one fucking person, Junpei. How can it be right to just erase all that? The survivors overcame their own misery and loss, and made the best they could of the hand they'd been dealt. Isn't that worth something? Isn't that the best thing that humans can aspire to? Is there really any point to a world where everything is happy? Are people who struggle for a better life just idiots? Being human is about fighting even when it seems hopeless and finding happiness even in a world that hates it. Are you saying that's worthless? If you're saying rewriting the past will erase all these other timelines, then whatever God wrote those rules can f <sighs> Look, I'm just not gonna accept that, all right? Dude, you're a grown man. You could've said the word fuck. You get it? If Sigma changes the past, then you and Quark will never meet. I is he right? No, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. We're here right now. This is reality. Even if Sigma does change the past, we're not just gonna disappear or something. Oh! Then that means we get to stay together? <sighs> Good. Thanks, kid. Oh, that's cute! I understand how you feel. Why you want to return to Earth is clear. You have lives there, I imagine. There are likely people waiting for you. Right. Uh-huh. Have you already said goodbye to the others? Bye, Luna, Alice, and Clover all saw us off. We told them we'd see them again someday, and then came here. They were the only people you want to say goodbye to? Well, no point saying anything to Dio. Besides, he's asleep. You were asleep too. Sorry, but we didn't really know much about you. You have a point. Akane was in the armor in this timeline, after all. What about Sigma? Well, he's not really Mr. Sigma anymore. Of course. He is Dr. Climb now that his consciousness has returned. Yeah, but more importantly, he's the guy who brought us all here. Not a lot of warm feelings there, you know? And... Akane? Never mind her. She's just like him. 
Not the Akane I knew. Oh my god, babe! You're the one who wanted to see her! I must have seen some pretty awful things over the years. Hell, she might not even be human anymore. But the Akane Kurashiki I know isn't here. She's not anywhere. In the end, Clover and I were just pawns. Also, I'm so glad that it's Kyle's the one that's just talking and I don't have to talk because I was able to finish eating my fries while he, there you guys were talking. Hey, <laughs> nice. Pawns to be used and then gotten rid of. Still, it's not like we're completely resentful. We had to be here to help change the past. That part's easy to understand, but... Kind of sucks, though. I mean, Sigma and Phi have it easy. I don't know if you would say they had it easy. They, they are the ones who have to be constantly jumping around timelines, my dude. That's a lot of work, and uh, Sigma, the poor fuck, has to fucking set up this entire thing in 45 years. They Look. get to go back to December 25th in 2028. They'll stop the Radical Six and save the world, and then they'll have a nice, normal future to look forward to. Oh, I see what you mean. In other words, they get to go back to point E and just enjoy history like it was supposed to happen. I get it. Okay. But we don't. We're stuck with point C as our starting point. You told us about Ten Miyoji's story, right? Learn to jump around then. The one with the motorcycles? It would be like if Alice and I were kidnapped right before the intersection. Then whoever grabbed us takes us to wherever the bikers are going, 10,000 miles to the northwest. Don't get us wrong. We know why we had to be here. Without us, S's consciousness wouldn't have been able to go back to right before the intersection. If that couldn't happen, then the fate of those 90 dead bikers would be sealed. But... It's still not the best situation for those of us left in the northwest. We are stuck in the reality where the 90 bikers died. Are we just supposed to go live on Earth? It's a wasteland now. And what about our friends and families? We left a whole world behind 45 years ago. Even if it is for the greater good? It just doesn't seem fair, does it? Yeah, it's a little bit much. So we went and talked to the old lady. She told us that there is one way. One way we could get back to the past. Let's say you do go back to the past. Wouldn't that cause your minds to get thrown back here? That seemed to be how Sigma and Phi's jumps worked, at least. Yes, you're right. But this is different. Different? How so? From what she said, it sounds like there's a way we can send our bodies back in time, too. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It would create a paradox. How could you have two Clovers and two Alices at the same time? But that wouldn't happen. Akane says there's a way around that. How on earth does she plan to do that? Kill the dog with the- <laughs> kill the person in the past! Schrodinger's <laughs> cat. What? What? Oh, oh hey Kyle. To, they have to go back in boxes? What? Figured you'd come here eventually. Where's Dr. Klein? Luna said you were with him. He said he was tired, so he's off resting right now. There's a bedroom at the end of the hallway. He's in there if you're curious. Oh, right. He told me to turn on this hologram projector thing when you showed up. Want me to start it? Sure. Glad to see you. There isn't anything in particular that I have to tell you. However, I imagine there are a great number of things weighing on your mind. Why is he wearing this? Why, did he, why is he wearing like a pirate's coat? I don't get it. I'd love to answer all your questions. But unfortunately, my circumstances make that an impossibility. I hope you can forgive me. Everything I know, Phi should also know. I have instructed her to answer any questions anyone might have. Anyone other than Kyle, that is. What does he mean, other than Kyle? Who knows? Is there anything you want to ask? Oh, right, well... I guess I may as well cut to the chase. Just who are you, Fi? I'm not Superman, that's for sure. And I'm not Batman, or Spider-Man, or Aquaman, or a Merman, or a Wolfman. I'm not a Brahmin, or Common, or Ramen. I'm not a Cayman either, so you really don't need to worry about anything. Please don't dodge the question. 
Did she just smile? What was that? <laughs> About five hours ago, Akane attacked you with a knife. That triggered something which sent your mind back to the past, correct? Specifically, you were sent to point D, April 13th, 2029. On that date, your body was already in Akane's custody. Although by then you were in cold sleep. You wouldn't have regained consciousness, but your mind was now inhabiting that body. That pod was your home for 45 years. You slept there, frozen, until the time was right. Then on January 25th, 2074, you were finally thawed out, even though you didn't wake up. Still unconscious, you were carried to the AB room. That was when your consciousness changed bodies again. A version of you from December 25th, 2028 arrived, pushing you out and sending you back to December 25th, 2028. This is when you finally woke up. In 2028, you found and joined forces with Sigma, whose older mind was inhabiting his younger body. Together, you attempted to infiltrate the Mars Mission Test Facility. Unfortunately, your plan failed. The Radical Six did escape on New Year's Eve. That failure determined the path you followed. Instead of going along the line that branches out to the right from point E, you headed straight to point D. Point D being April 13th of the following year. That was the day that you made your way to Akane's hideout and asked to be put into one of the treatment pods. Another consciousness enters your body around that time from the future. It is, of course, the version of you that left your body when Akane attacked you in the garden. This caused the two versions of you to swap places, and you moved 45 years into the future where you woke up on the garden floor. That put you on the line that comes here. So if we discount the time you spent in cold sleep, for you only three and a half months have passed since that happened. That being when you were sent back into the past from the garden. <laughs> like, I understood what he's saying, but, like, if I had to, like, recite, like, like relay what he just said, I would I actually, like, probably just faint from <laughs> having, like, the worst, like, just, oh, my God, it's so convoluted, but also, like, it, I get it, but it also, like, god dang, <laughs> how do you even think of this shit? No, everything you talked about, you got right. Well, what do you mean by that? I'm kind of an unknown variable in this equation. You could think of me as a kind of X factor. It's taken me the last three and a half months to understand it. I haven't understood anything in the last three and a half seconds. Could you please explain? It's kind of like the relationship between classical mechanics and modern physics. <clears throat> Strictly speaking, you can't combine velocities with V1 plus V2. V1 plus V2 divided by 1 plus V1 times can, V2 Can you not? Can you not? What is this? The actual equation. Oh my god. I don't know. Of course, the sort of velocities we encounter in day-to-day -day life don't come close to being C squared, which is the speed of light squared. Oh my god. That means that 1 plus V1 times V2 divided by C squared is usually going to evaluate to something pretty close to 1. God help me. I don't- why did you need to bring equations into this explanation? Since that would mean dividing by 1, it's usually okay to just skip that step and use V1 plus V2. You see what I'm saying? In most situations, it works, even if it isn't technically correct. So you knew enough to get the stuff you were talking about right. As long as you stick to that, you won't run into any problems. I don't quite understand. In fact, I feel like you're dodging my questions. So was that what you wanted to ask about? No. What I really want to know is what happened between Christmas and New Year's Eve in 2028. She got sloshed. You and Sigma infiltrated the Mars mission test site, didn't you? Yes. What happened there? How did Sigma lose his eye and both his arms? And why was Radical Six in there in the first place? What could a deadly virus have to do with the simulated mission to space? Sorry, but I can't tell you that. Why? Because it would change history. There is a history where the virus didn't escape. That's the line that goes to the right of point E. In that timeline, humanity isn't heading for annihilation, and Earth isn't red. The future is much brighter. 
But if I tell you what you're asking me right now, then that reality will disappear. You understand? I don't. Why would all of that disappear if you told me what I want to know? You're about to go back to the past, right? The past? Don't be silly. I can't do that. Then where the hell did you learn all this stuff? I just listened to you tell me a bunch of things you shouldn't have known about. You were sleeping in the pod in the garden. You just woke up. So how can you know all this? You know my past. Sigma's past. Uh, uh. Kyle! I shall give you your answer. You are not Kyle Klein. What? What are we, Sigma your something? Your body is Kyle's, mm. but your consciousness is not. Think about it. Do you really believe you are Kyle? Or could you be someone else entirely? Then, where is the real Kyle's consciousness? He was thrown out when you entered. Right now, in a manner of speaking, he has arrived at December 25th, 2028. Hey, eh? He existed then? His consciousness has gone into a body from that time. I doubt you know how much the doctor loves Kyle. He raised him on his own. I thought he would, I, he came he was born into existence at December 25th. Kyle is irreplaceable. Do you really think he would go back to the past? and leave Kyle behind here. I know what I told the others, that Kyle was Dr. Klein's spare, but that was not his only purpose. Kyle's consciousness is integral to what we are trying to accomplish. This new mission begins on Christmas and ends on New Year's Eve 2028. Its purpose will be to infiltrate the test facility and prevent the spread of the virus. For this to happen, Kyle is absolutely necessary. And that is why he created him? Yes. So now that my consciousness has entered his body, the doctor has achieved his objective. Kyle has gone back to 2028 to participate in his mission. Correct. There's one thing that troubles me. Kyle was created before reaching point B from point D. That means his body did not exist on Christmas in 2028. That's what I fucking said. Does Where'd that he mean he has entered my body? Have we just switched places? I suppose you could put it that way, yes. That's ridiculous. What's going to happen to me? Are you telling me I have to spend the rest of my life here in this box, living in a borrowed body? No, not at all. You can travel freely through time and space. You are an uncontrolled variable that entered our closed system. As such, the rules of this world do not apply to you. Uh I have no idea what- Please don't try to play dumb. I know what you are. Surely you must know by now, too. <laughs> you are about to go into the past and save the world. Phi and Sigma, even with all of his future knowledge, will need your help. Only you can right the horrible wrongs of our past. Only you can save the world. There's no way I... Yes, there is. You have to. Don't you want to know the truth? Don't you want to know what happened in between Christmas and New Year's Eve in 2028? Well, yes, I do, but... Then you must believe. Reality is shaped by what we believe reality should be. If observation can change the motion of a particle, then how is it odd to think that human thought 
can shape reality. Your will can change history. The world will be reshaped into the one you imagine. I'm trying to, like, are we Sigma? Or are we not? I don't, I'm, I'm getting confused now. Who are we? Remember what I've told you. Only you can change history. And stop the forest fires. Only you can save the world. Who are we? Alternative end? I, I thought we, but they were saying that our consciousness went into Sigma's body but they make it sound like it's not sigma is it sigma is it not is it is k someone else okay well now what are they? man this is a head there's just floating fucking timelines are they well now what I keep expecting that I have to like come back here and see this opening, but I don't think that's the case. Nope, it's a skipper. It's time to Google it. Wait. What? This can't be right. Right? Game Facts is saying that that's the end? That's how the game ends? What? That can't be right! Oh my f what? <laughs> oh my god! Okay. I think that's it! Apparently, the game after the Zero Times Dilemma is a continuation of this story. <laughs> that's how it ends? <laughs> that's how it ends! So I technically- didn't I te that means I technically finished the game last time. I wasn't wrong. This, apparently this ending is like, it's either that there was a debate on whether or not it's canon or this was just like a non-canon ending or something. I guess because that's why I say it's another time. So it's like not even, what? <laughs> what was I doing all this for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so technically I did finish the game last time when then there was just a little extra. But hey, I got all the puzzle all the escape puzzles on hard. Well, that's that. We're done. We're done with the game. That was anticlimactic as shit. It just means that like now I have to means that now I have to play the next game to figure out the story, the rest of the story. Find out what happened at the test site, the Mars mission test site, and if we're gonna be able to stop Radical 6 from spreading. Fuck! I didn't think that Virtual Last Reward and Zero Time Dilemma would connect it because when the, uh, this game on Steam, it's connect- it like- it, this one was a two-packer. It's like, it was 999 and Virtual Last Reward. I thought those- I thought that- I thought it being packed that way meant that these two games were connected and Zero Time Dilemma was like a separate thing, but apparently it's Zero Time Dilemma- they're all connected in some way. We're done. I guess. That was- I- that was so like... <laughs> anticlimactic and like I don't- I don't even know what to do with myself. <laughs> that means I have to start another game, but... I mean... As of recording this, I got other games that I need to play, so it's gonna be a bit before I can even pick up Zero Time Dilemma, which doesn't matter to you guys, because by the time this video comes out on YouTube, it's probably gonna be like the end of the year or next year. <laughs> I need to actually probably change the schedule for when these come out, but this was, a aside from that, I do wish there was a way that, I, I do wish that the game told you like, next game will continue the story, or like if there was a proper like credit ending, you know? 
Because even doing Akane, doing that be end or beginning, um, end or beginning timeline, where we see Akane, young Akane, it didn't even, like, the credits didn't roll there. It rolled, like, somewhere in, like, before that. So I had, like, no idea that the game actually ended. That was weird. Anyway. Um. But yeah. Overall, it's a, it was, it's a good game. It got me thinking a lot. Maybe too much. I definitely thought too much, but I'm an overthinker. I can't help it. It's what I, it's like I'm trying to beat the game at its own game. That's my fault. Maybe I should stop thinking so much. But I can't help it. Um, you know, I got, I was able to deal with some of the puzzles pretty well. And some of them I couldn't. Like that fucking green and red light one. I could not for the life of me. The both times we had those puzzles, I, I, I sucked at both of them. That's fun. Um, yeah. I'm looking forward to picking up Zero Time Dilemma at some point down the line and seeing what happened. I can't believe Junpei just turned into that, huh? <laughs> Junpei sure looks different. And here I thought Temyoji was Sigma. Oy vey. Um, and now we need to know- so we have a lot of things to figure out. There's like all- like figuring out if like we- how- what happened at Mars, the Mars test site. And then figuring out who Phi is and figuring out who Question Mark is. Who we thought was Kyle, but it's not. Oy vey 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 vey! Alright! Thanks a lot for watching. Um, if you actually managed to watch this entire series, uh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> like, that's hard. This is a lot of parts, and this game is long, so... But I was, like, really, like, hyped to play a lot, and I... Each session was really long, so I got through it a lot faster than I envisioned. Imagine if I only did this game, like, an hour or two at a time. I would never finish it. <laughs> but yeah. Um, that's it. That's it. Now I just have all these notes in my notebook, and I will keep this notebook for when I play Zero Time. Okay! Good boy! Oh wait, we have to think of a rabbit pun. Think of a... Think of a... It's time to... Time to hop on out of here and say... Say... Sayonara... Rabbit. What kind of name is Lagomorph anyway? That's a stupid name. Anyway, bye!